Alright, thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to ModsU. If this is your first time viewing my channel, feel free to leave a comment and hit the subscribe button for more content just like this. Alright, so today we're going to be switching out the set of ceramic single coil pickups for a set of Alnico 5 pickups. So let's jump into it. Alright, first I'm going to start by desoldering the old wires. And just like I've shown in my previous videos, on the uh, pickup side of the selector switch, the back um, lug is for the neck, that's for the middle, and the front one's for the bridge. So we'll start here in the back, and we'll disconnect the neck pickup. Start off by tinning my soldering iron before I get started. And these braided wires wrapped around the selector switch, so they're always a pain to get off. And there is the neck lead wire. And we'll jump in and do the middle. Actually went a little bit easier than I thought it was going to go. Last time I did this, it didn't go quite as easy, so I'm actually kind of relieved. Looks like they gave it two or three wraps on there. I can understand why they did that at the factory for efficiency, but you go on to swap stuff out it sure makes it difficult there we go well that's a lot easier and there we go all three pickups are free from the selector switch now we'll go ahead and disconnect the grounds. Looks like they're all three grounded together. It may take a moment to melt that. It's a big puddle of solder right there. It may take a moment to melt it off that pot. And it came right loose. No problem at all. Alright, now that we got it desoldered, let's go ahead and flip it over. And we'll get these pickups free from the pick guard. I'm really excited about these new pickups. It's a set of pickups I bought from the company Stratosphere. StratosphereParts.com and they're a set of Alnico 5 pickups. Only 20 bucks, so we'll see how they sound. In any event, they're definitely going to be a huge upgrade from the ceramic pickups that came stock on this model. So I'm really excited about them. It'll be my first set of Alnico pickups I've ever had. I've only ever played ceramics. And I've never never been pleased with how ceramic sounds, so I'm really excited to give these Alnicos a go. For 20 bucks, it's pretty hard to go wrong, too. And one thing I noticed when I was looking at everything before I started unwiring, the middle pickup on this was actually wired in backwards on the selector switch from the other two pickups, so I took my compass and I stuck it to the magnet on the bottom and the middle pickup was not reverse polarity so it was not reverse wound and so they wired the middle pickup backwards from the other two to prevent any out of phase issues so I thought that was pretty cool to see. Alright and here is what the pickups look like without the cover on. Nice copper strands. And 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and take the screws out, put the springs, make sure I keep those. All right, now we got the metal pickup installed. I will go ahead and do the bridge and the neck, and then we'll be back in a few minutes. for our middle pickup. So we'll size it up about like that. And we'll snip it right about there. And we're just going to tin the wire in my soldering iron. It's also a shiny connection right there. And that's a pretty short end on the end, so I don't think I'm gonna trim that back. It's pretty close. I don't wanna cut anything that I don't want to. And finally, neck pickup. And again, it'll be the white. Goes to the selector switch. It's funny, the wire strippers strip the white wire no problem, but the black or the red, they don't want to touch. I'm not really sure how that, how much sense that makes, but that is reality. I kind of cut the plastic a little bit with the pocket knife. You know what you do, it'll start to pull that plastic off. There it is. And this is where the handy dandy alligator clips come into play, but I don't have a set of those. So we'll find a different way to make it work.
fact, I think I'll just cut a piece of side. Cut a little piece of solder wire off and just hold it on there like that. Another little twist. Hopefully it doesn't heat up too fast. Get that wire hot on. There we go. There we go, good enough. And the neck pickup lead wire will go in the back lug. And that solder didn't fill in there, so I think I'm gonna trim a little bit of that off. It's a little too long. There we go. I think what I'll do to make it a little easier is I'll just fill in that lug with solder. that to stand still as soon as I melt it and stick it in there. Okay. And it's dead sealed just like I wanted it to. And it looks pretty good but we'll do just a little bit of extra solder on top. nice shiny connections nice and strong all, th all three of the connections are shiny all three are strong so they are good connections now let's go ahead and get these ground wires taken care of and the easiest thing by far is just going to take all three of these and wrap them all together and then hold them down there didn't stay. There we go, wrap them together. There we go. I'm just going to flow some new solder down on top. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. If there's a mod that you would like to